It's an age old question in the River City. Is it pronounced Rebalt or Rebo? It's a prominent name here. It's got a high school, a river, and a monument all sharing the name. News for Jack's reporter Vic Michelucci worked to get to the bottom of this mystery, which is even up for debate in our newsroom. Okay, so this is a huge debate in Jacksonville. It's been brewing for decades. R-I-B-A-U-L-T. Is that Rebalt or Rebo? Josh, I know you haven't lived here your whole life. What do you think? Yeah, I've, a couple years, all I know is Rebalt High School. So Rebalt, Rebalt High School, that's yeah. how you pronounce it. Other people say Rebo. We are going to take a look on a News for Jack's expedition. <laughs> Last night, seniors at this North Jacksonville High School graduated with bravado. But from where? Well, it depends on who you ask. Rebalt versus Rebo, the pronunciation. I called the school and someone answered for Rebalt. But a school district spokeswoman told me the principal is adamant it's Rebo. To get answers, we went on a mission. What's your name? Sydney. Sydney, yes. all right, nice to meet you. Hey, I got a question for you. Yes, sir. How do you pronounce that? Rebalt. Rebalt? Rebalt. Why? I'm not sure. I went to Rebalt High School, so that's how I knew. By the way, we brought in some help. Nice to meet Appreciate you. Appreciate it. Thank you. Yeah. Hoping these trusty park rangers at the Timaquan Preserve can put it to rest. Read that for me. Rebo Monument. Rebo? Not Rebalt. Rebo. Corinne? Rebo Monument. Rebo. Okay. Got a little bit uh, better on our French, but... We try. This story traces back 461 years. Jean Rabot was a French explorer who first landed in the St. John's River in 1562 to start a colony. There's a monument here at the highest point in Jacksonville. It's in East Arlington with a whopping 65-foot elevation. He and his men would then establish Fort Caroline near the native Timaquan tribe until the Spanish came. St. Augustine is the longest lasting, continually inhabited European settlement, right? That wouldn't matter without Fort Caroline. Fort Caroline is why the Spanish came over. Fort Caroline is uh, why St. Augustine exists today. And trust me, there was a lot of bloodshed. Well, the Spanish butchered the French down at Fort Matanzas, and so they still butcher the name today. That's why we don't call it Rebo, they call it Rebalt. And for many generations to come, the Rebalt name stuck. What do you call it? Rebalt or Rebo? Rebalt. Rebalt? Rebo. Rebo, okay. This campus has been up and running since 1957, no matter what you want to call it. So there's your history lesson, and it sounds like the final answer is Rebo. I'm Vic Michelucci, Channel 4, the local station.